So now we dive into a chapter on amines. And amines are your classic organic bases. So if we take a look like ammonia here, technically not an organic compound here, but uh, definitely shows the basicity of uh, the lone pair of electrons on the nitrogen there. So that's what's technically we're talking about with the basicity here. And even though by gen chem standards, uh, amines would be considered weak bases by organic chemistry standards, uh, we usually consider them to be moderate to strong bases. So uh, just an FYI. So if you're like, is it strong? Is it weak? Well, it depends on what context you're bringing it up in. So uh, first thing we're going to talk about is how we classify them. So in this case, we classify them based on the number of carbon chains the nitrogen is directly bonded to. So if the nitrogen is directly bonded to one carbon chain, that's a primary amine. To directly bonded to two carbon chains, that's a secondary amine. Directly bonded to three carbon chains, and that's a tertiary amine. Now technically, nitrogens are generally making three bonds, but they can make four and have a positive formal charge, and in which case that would be a quaternary ammonium ion. Um, but we're just going to, you know, restrict ourselves to talking about normal amines here for now. So here we see an example of a primary amine, the nitrogen's only bonded to one carbon. Here a secondary amine, the nitrogen's directly bonded to two carbons. So, and here a tertiary amine, the nitrogen being bonded to three carbons. And I also want to point out just that this is fundamentally different than how we classified alcohols in the past. So in the past we looked at alcohols a little bit differently, and so oxygen generally only makes two bonds instead of three, and as a result, for an alcohol, one of those bonds is always going to be to a hydrogen. That means there's only room for one other bond to a carbon. And so if we classified alcohols the same way we're classifying amines here, all of them would be primary. But they're not. We actually end up classifying them based on the carbon the OH is attached to instead of how many carbons the O uh, is bonded to itself, since it's always going to be one. So in this case, this would be a primary alcohol because the carbon with the OH is only bonded to one other carbon. This would be a secondary alcohol since the carbon with the OH is bonded to two carbons. And this would be a tertiary alcohol since the carbon with the OH is bonded to three carbon chains. So again, for alcohols, it's all about the carbon the OH is bonded to, but for amines, it's how, you know, it's all about the nitrogen itself, how many carbon chains are directly bonded to that nitrogen.